welcome to finding the formula for the solution to an IVP. So recall uh, in the first video that involved convolutions in part one of section 8.6, um, we saw that, uh, oops, we saw that if we had And IVP, uh, AY double prime plus BY prime plus CY equals F of T with initial conditions Y of zero equals zero and Y prime of zero equals zero. Then the Laplace transform resulted in uh, capital Y of S equaled uh, F of T times, sorry, equals capital F of S times one over the characteristic polynomial. So A S squared plus B S plus C. And then we could find y of t using convolutions. So we could find y of t using convolutions. So we are going to slightly um, do a little broader than here now. Instead of having zero initial conditions, we now will have just general initial conditions. Um, we'll have y of zero is k naught and y prime of zero equals k one. We will also specify our a, b, and c. So let's consider IVPs of the form y double prime plus five y prime plus four y is equal to f of t, unknown f of t, uh, with y of zero equals k naught and y prime of zero equals k one. And our job is to find a formula for the solution to the IVP. So we are going to take the Laplace transform of the equation. Um, using the fact that the Laplace transform of Y is capital Y of S, uh, the Laplace transform of Y prime is S times capital Y of S minus lowercase Y of zero, which so we have S times capital Y of S minus K naught. And the Laplace transform of y double prime is s squared times y of s minus s times y of zero minus y prime of zero. So we are looking at s squared times y of s minus k naught times s minus k1. And plugging in. Uh, we have the Laplace transform of y double prime plus 5y prime plus 4y is equal to the Laplace transform of f of t, taking the Laplace transform of both sides. That left-hand side, we are looking at s squared times capital Y of s minus k naught times s minus k1. Then we have plus five times s times capital Y of s uh, minus k naught plus four times capital Y of s. And this should all be equal to capital F of s, the Laplace transform of F of t. This left-hand side we can rearrange. We have our characteristic polynomial s squared plus five s plus four all multiplying our capital Y of S. Then we have minus uh, 
K naught times S plus K naught plus K, uh, sorry, plus five K naught plus K one. So that minus applies to all of the uh, K naught times S plus five K naught plus K one. Uh, and then all of that is equal to F of S. So this winds up giving us that capital Y of S is equal to, uh, we have K naught S plus five K naught plus K one all over S squared plus five S plus four. And then plus uh, one over S squared plus five S plus four times capital F of S. From here, we need to do some partial fractions uh, playing around. So putting this into recognizable form. K naught S plus five K naught plus K one over S squared plus five S plus four. This is equal to K naught times S plus five K naught plus K one all over S plus four times S plus one. We can therefore split that fraction as A over S plus four plus B over S plus one. So we have K naught times S plus five K naught plus K one is equal to A times S plus one plus B times S plus four. So if we set S equal to negative four, then we have negative four times K naught plus five K naught plus K one is equal to uh, negative three times A uh, or K naught plus K one is equal to negative three A. And we therefore get that A is negative one third times K naught plus K one. Similarly, if we set s equal to negative one, then we have negative one times k naught plus five k naught plus k one is equal to uh, negative one plus four would be three times b. So we have four k naught plus k one is equal to three b. And therefore, B is equal to one third times four K naught plus K one. So we know that the original chunk at K naught S plus five K naught plus K one over S squared plus five S plus four. So the K naught S plus five K naught plus K one all over S squared plus five S plus four. This is equal to uh, negative one third times K naught plus K one times one over S plus four plus one third times four K naught plus K one times one over S plus one. We know how to take the inverse Laplace transform of that. So we have our first component. Uh, our second piece, we had one over S squared plus five S plus four times a capital F of S. So one over S squared plus five S plus four times a capital F of S. This should be an A over S plus four plus a 
B over S plus one, all multiplying our capital F of S. My, I need to update. All right, so we had our A over S plus four plus B over S plus one, all times that capital F of S. So this means that uh, A times S plus one plus B times S plus four should just be equal to one. So if again, we set S equal to negative four, then we have A times negative three is equal to one. So our A is negative one third. If we set S equal to negative one, then we have B times three is equal to one. And so we get B is equal to one third. And so that second component we have, that one over S squared plus five S plus four, multiplying f of s. This is equivalent to negative one third times one over s plus four plus one third times one over s plus one, all multiplying our capital f of s. So at this point, what we have is capital y of s is equal to our first chunk was negative one third times k naught plus k one times one over s plus four. Then we had plus one third times four k naught plus k one all multiplying one over s plus one. And then we have plus this negative one third times one over s plus four plus one over th one third times one over s plus one. That entire second line, negative one third times one over s plus four plus one over third times one over s plus one is being multiplied by capital F of S. So we are going to go ahead and take the inverse Laplace transform to find Y of T. So we know that y of t is equal to negative one third times k naught plus k one times the inverse Laplace transform of one over s plus four plus one third times four k naught plus k one times the inverse Laplace transform of one over s plus one. Plus, we can do this in pieces if you want or all together. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull out, uh, or I'll just leave it as is. So, plus we have negative one third times one over s plus four plus one third times one over s plus one. All of that multiplying capital F of s. Sorry, I should have an inverse Laplace transform in front of this all. So we have the inverse Laplace transform of negative one third times one over s plus four plus one third times one over s plus one, all times f of s, all of that inside the inverse Laplace transform. Those first two inverse Laplace transforms are perfectly simple to take. They're directly from our table. Um, this inverse Laplace transform here, we're going to call this negative one third times one over s plus four plus one third times one over s plus one, our capital G of s. Um, and we know that that inverse Laplace transform will be a convolution because we have an f of s times g of s. 
So going through, we have y of t is equal to negative one third times k naught plus k one times e to the negative four t. And we have plus one third times four k naught plus k one times e to the negative t. That's the inverse Laplace transform of one over s plus four and one over s plus one going through with them. And then this last component, the inverse Laplace transform of a product is just the convolution. So we will have plus the convolution of f and g evaluated at t. So here, g of t would be negative one third times the inverse Laplace transform of one over s plus four plus one third times the inverse Laplace transform of one over s plus one. So our g of t is negative one third e to the negative four t plus one third e to the negative t. So what we wind up with, putting this back in terms of the integral form of the convolution, we have y of t is equal to negative one third times k naught plus k1 times e to the negative 4t plus one third times 4k naught plus k1 times e to the negative t plus the definite integral from zero to t of f of tau times g of t minus tau, sorry, uh, yes, times g of t minus tau, d tau, and we can plug it back in our g. This becomes negative one third times k naught plus k one e to the negative four t plus one third times four k naught plus k one e to the negative t plus the definite integral from zero to t of f of tau times we have negative one third e to the negative four t, but we're gonna replace that with t minus tau. So negative one third e to the negative four times t minus tau uh, plus one third e to the negative t minus tau. And then all of that d tau. Right. So whatever our f of t is, we now know, and whatever our f of t and initial conditions, k naught and k1, we now have a formula already solved for y of t, and you can jump straight to this formula instead of having to solve the IVP over and over and over again. So um, the Laplace transform and convolutions allow us to come up with such a formula um, that then we can evaluate function by function if we want, or we can just leave it in this form uh, and plug in our desired function and initial conditions.